Hello and in today's video I would like to share with you some little programming tips. So first it will be obviously we will speak about JavaScript and about how we can easily create a class. So a class when we think about solid principles, when we think about the single responsibility and uh, also about the open closed principle so s for single responsibility single responsibility of our class so here we'll have my class will be a person and open closed it means it has to be closed for modification but opened for extension that means when we want to extend our, um, our class for something different like person after maybe I will have a class it won't be person but it will be something a little bit different so we have animal perhaps and we don't have to rewrite everything from scratch so we will have an interface an interface so here interface and obviously person and animal it's really similar it does work for instance that's a verb usually the function name so the method in op object oriented programming we call the function in a class as a method and to work it will return void so nothing and here it will extend to our interface and our interface will be human we can obviously change it later on it could be something a bit different but for now let's do human and here we're animal yeah human being human and there it will they will have they will implement the function work in a class we don't need to have function keyword so we just need work that's important to know because when we are not in a class declare our function with the function keyword or as a arrow fat arrow function so it would be const work and then we would have this in our fat arrow function like this but in our case we don't need this uh, in our case it's uh, it's in a class so we do work again it returns void um this is obviously it's only available in TypeScript, not in javascript otherwise it will be like this uh, anyway we have an interface here so we we need TypeScript and human human and then work as well there it will return void and then we have another one and another one but it's important to use always to use interfaces that way you are following the open close principle and single responsibility we don't want to have our class to do thousands of things if it does hundreds or thousands of things different uh, it will not be clear it will just do everything it will be really messy and it will be really hard to maintain we can also call this spaghetti spaghetti code is a anti-pattern that means it's just not a good code so we have to be careful like in a function as well work has to only do one thing so one thing and not something else we have to see how we can split into little functions meaning if our function does more than one thing it will be hard to split hard to use elsewhere and we will have duplicated code if we are only careful of our code how clean our code can be and how one function can do only one thing not more then we will keep our maintenance and our code quality really high let's continue it can eat as well indeed a person a person needs to eat so avoid eat and then an animal does eat yes of course an animal can eat as well so eat here and then 
what else we will have work eat and maybe we might have a different class another one so we might need another interface interface animal here and you will see why so that interface what we have to implement here uh, extend sorry so this interface will extend from human and in the animal interface we will have another interface to be bird for instance and you will understand why extends and here to be animal why a bird because a bird can fly so we have fly fly it will return nothing and uh, that's our decoration in our interface and here it will be a parrot can obviously fly the ibis for instance is a lovely bird and we extend to bird like a white ibis for instance just ibis here and then we have work as well it will be the same i will just copy paste and then ibis can work and eat and can fly so because we have the interface bird it has to be implemented here and then we will have our logic for the bird to fly and you see that way we have different interfaces one interface for each of them so in the solid principle we have single responsibility or for open close principle then a list of substitution i for interface segregation so i will just show it to you on my phone if i go to solid principle okay i hope you can see so interface segregation is the third one and after you have dependency inversion so now we are going to speak about interface segregation it means one interface shouldn't cover more than what it should cover so human should be only for human animal should only cover animal and only the minimum methods a class should implement it means if my bird doesn't have to work why i should implement a empty empty work function no it shouldn't be the case so the interface the class has to implement should only implement the minimum so in each interface you should have the minimum amount of functions only for that purpose of that interface it's very much better to have a class to implement a lot of different interfaces rather than to implement one interface but then having to write four different methods in the body of the class and three of them are just empty because that ibis or that bird class doesn't need them no just have the interface for a little purposes and that's it so that's it for today we will speak more in another video about the other principles of the solid principle i hope it helps obviously it's really important to always keep this in mind to be able to write clean neat and easy to maintain code base because otherwise it will be hard also to scale your code indeed when you have a messy spaghetti code you cannot really scale because you always have to modify everything you have to change you have to refactor your code base for for years and years and this is not what we want we just want our code to be flexible but also closed for modification but again open for extension oh and just before i forget it wasn't here extends but implements indeed um i don't know why for some reason my id was giving me some red lines uh, so it was just saying there was an error but actually not since we are here writing in typescript we have to use implements because it's not a class it's an interface so don't use extends unless you want to extend to uh, from a so from your class if you want to extend to a different class so from a class to different class extends you have to use extends keyword but if you want to implement so that's fine here 
if you want or here sorry here it's extends but from our class we have to use implements like this because we want to implement from the animal class we want to implement human interface or bird interface uh, so there it has to be implements and for the interfaces when you extend your interface to a different interface then you use extends keyword see you in another video